What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the noob. Have you ever caught on to a manga or a light novel before only by simply seeing a meme out there or a picture that really caught your attention? Well, there was one that I've actually really enjoyed, and it all started from seeing these three simple images that made me have to pay attention. Please marry me, even though I'm a man. What a coincidence. So am I. Yes, folks, it was these three images that made me get very interested in today's topic, which is a manga by the title of My Wife is a Man. This manga centers around a husband and wife team. You have the husband, Ku, and you have the wife, Yuki. Now, these two are your typical loving married couple that you see out there. They go out on dates. They go to the bathhouses. They go to the movies. They go to the beach. They play video games. They get into fights. And they even cuddle together when they take a nap. But the thing about these two that is very unique is Yuki comes with a bit of a surprise. That's right, folks. This lovely little lady right here is actually a man. The story about this is just their daily relationship in dealing with each other and how people react when they find out that this lovely lady is actually a man. See, when I first started reading this, I did not understand that it was going to be about a trap relationship. I was kind of confused. I thought the image was doctored, but lo and behold, I come to find out that this is actually a boy and boy love story. And it is just adorable. You have Kuhn, the husband, who is a businessman. Uh, he's already graduated school. He works in his business. And then you have Yuki, who is a stay-at-home wife. They are your typical husband and wife. Like I said, they play games together. They fight. They go out all the time. They visit friends. The only difference is, is in public, uh, Kuhn likes to remind people that his wife is a man. And the best part about this is I love the reactions that you get from the people when they learn this because usually it's the exact same thing it's usually this cute girl was a man and everyone's really shocked some are kind of concerned a lot of them are kind of going oh my god he was really cute why do i feel this way and it's just hilarious watching all the interactions between them and now i love how their romance started out because there was a flashback that showed that basically yuki uh was one day sick uh, from school. Apparently he was starting to stay back. I uh, never really told me it was because he was bullied or something, but he started being one of those shut-ins. Well, the teachers normally came by and delivered his homework. On this particular day, the teacher couldn't make it, so Ku decided to deliver the homework for them. And it was at that point that they started to become friends. Ku would always come over and spend time with Yuki. They would play video games. They would chat about things that are happening. They would just become more and more friends, and eventually they start to get closer and closer to the point where they're even sharing a blanket to each other, with each other when it got really cold. Now, the thing about Yuki, he didn't realize that he started to really was wondering when Ku would come over to the point where uh, he would start fidgeting, he'd look at the clock, and then he'd get really excited when Ku would come over. He started to notice that he was having feelings for him. So, of course, he did the typical sly thing while playing video games, he asked him, hey, is there anyone do you like, and are you dating anyone? Of course, Ku said, no, there isn't. So it was at a later point that Yuki decided to do what I considered a very brave thing. He basically told another male, hey, just so you know, I like you. Now, at this point, he, he's really hoping that Ku will be like, yeah, come on, all right, I like you too. But something kind of happened, which I kind of think was a little bit of a dick move, but I can kind of understand. Ku said, I need some time to figure out my feelings. Now, you and me probably thought, okay, this is gonna be a day or two days, but no, this actually turned out to be three years. And during those three years, Ku went through high school and he tried to figure out what his feelings were. He thought, what would his life be with and without Yuki by his side? There was even a point where he dated a girl that really looked like Yuki, but by the time that the girl ended the relationship, he knew that he wasn't in love with the girl. In fact, he knew that he was in love with Yuki. So when he graduated high school, he eventually goes back to the house and he says, please marry me. Now when he does this, 
Yuki, of course, is a little confused, tries to say he was joking, but Ku says, hey, no, seriously, I thought about it, and I want to marry you. And that's when Yuki decides to start giving all these reasons why they shouldn't date. He first starts off with, I'm a shut-in. And of course, Ku goes, well, that's okay. We'll just play video games when I'm not working. Yuki even says, I can't cook and I can't clean. Which Ku says, that's okay. You will learn. He even talks about how he's dense, how he can't get up in the morning, how he likes to give up. And Ku just continuously goes, that's okay. I will help you and I'll stop you from giving up. It is then that we get to that iconic scene that I really fell in love with. The whole, please marry me, even though I'm a man. That What a coincidence, so am I. And I just love the relationship between these two, between the friends they meet. There's even times where, like when Ku gets injured, Yuki goes and gets a job and she works at a bakery. And then her co-worker asks Ku later on, are you into guys? And he goes, no, but I fell in love with Yuki and that's why I married him. It is just a sweet and adorable, and other than him continuously reminding us that Yuki is a man, you kind of forget that he is because he does look really feminine and he does act like a lady, even though he's a man. Love, romance, and things like that really don't have to deal with gender. If two guys can fall in love with each other, it is beautiful. And I'm sorry, this manga is really the best kind of example of that and in my personal opinion, you all should read it. Well, folks, that's my manga recommendation. It's, of course, another trap one. I know I did one previously, and there's a couple others that I like, which I'll eventually get to, but if you're not too afraid to read trap mangas, I guarantee you, if you like the comedy, romance kind of slice of life, this manga is going to be right up your alley to the point where you will forget that the wife is a man. Folks, I'm the noob. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the manga that I've suggested. Is there any romance slice of life mangas that you've enjoyed that you think I should read? Let me know in the comments below and I will try to check them out. Y'all have a good day and I'll catch you later. See ya!